24 fences to be jumped and three miles, five furlongs to race in this Anthony Mild May Peter Kasler chase. Very good pace being set as they come to the first at which Kaz leads and touchdown in the lead. They all jumped the first safely and it's Kaz in the lead from Gillipus on the inside of Strombolus towards the stand side come Peace Pact and with the Peace Pact is on the inner modesty for bids then comes Lockage. So the order as they come up past the stands with now two complete circuits in front of them. It's Kaz and on the inside Gillipus tracked by Strombolus then Peace Pact and Modesty for Bids, these are followed by Lockage. Then comes Prince Rock, and behind Prince Rock is Ben Nevis, and then behind Ben Nevis, Midday Welcome, Royal Stewart on the inner, then Peter Scott, then Mr. Batnack, and the back marker at this stage is Diopia. Running towards the third, and Kaz in the lead on the left of the picture, as we see it, is Peace Pact, as they swing right-handed. And Kaz in the lead from Gillipus on the inner, then Strombolus and Peace Pact and Lockage and Ben Nevis and Modesty for Bids, then Prince Rock and Royal Stewart. Coming down to the third, and Gillipus and Kaz disputed ahead of Lockage and Strombolus at the third. The leaders safely over, they're all safely over. They swing right handed down the back straight where they have seven fences to jump, two plain, an open ditch, then a water jump, and then the three railway fences on the far side. And Kaz setting a strong pace to Lockage now in second place with Peace Pact and Gillipus third and fourth. Over the fourth, Kaz, Lockage, Peace Pact, and then behind Peace Pact came Gillipus, then Ben Nevis, then Strombolus, and then comes Mr. Batnack, followed by Modesty for Bids, and then Prince Rock. Going to the ditch, and Kaz took a long look at it, but got over it safely enough. They're all safely over, and it's Kaz and Lockage from Ben Nevis and Gillipus, and Peace Pact and Modesty for Bids and Prince Rock and Strombolus. Then Mr. Batnack ahead of Peter Scott and Royal Stewart. Behind Peter Scott and Royal Stewart come Midday Welcome, and the back marker is Diopia, having jumped that. And now Lockage comes through to take up the running. Lockage in the lead from Kaz in second place. Then Ben Nevis third and Gillipus fourth. Lockage and Kaz and Ben Nevis and Gillipus. And then comes Strombolus and Modesty for Bids and Prince Rock and Royal Stewart and Peter Scott. And then behind Peter Scott, or at least with Peter Scott, is Mr. Batnack. Then Peace Back, Midday Welcome and Diopia still the back marker as they stream over the last on the far side. Swing right-handed and it's Lockage in the lead by a length to Kaz in second place, Ben Nevis third. A gap then of some three to four lengths to Gillipus in fourth and Modesty for Bids. And behind Modesty for Bids comes Royal Stewart. Behind Royal Stewart, Peter Scott. And on the inner of Peter Scott comes Strombolus. Then comes Prince Rock, Diopia, Midday Welcome, and Peace Pact. Kaz in the lead as they come towards fence number 11. This will be the third from home next time round. And it's Kaz, who has regained the lead, goes on from Lockage on the inside. They all stream over that fence with the back marker is now piece packed. And as they, having completed a circuit of the course, it's still Kaz in the lead, coming towards the 12th. Lockage on the inside in second. Then Ben Nevis and Modesty for bids. And Gillipus and on the inside, Strom Bonus. Then Royal Stewart making up ground towards the leaders. Peter Scott is well poised in the centre of the picture as we look at them as they come towards the 13th of which Kaz leads. Kaz in the lead, comes to it, jumps it safely and well. Lockage in second, Royal Stewart took a very erratic course over that fence, but safely enough. And so the order as they pass the stands with a circuit to go is that Kaz leads from Lockage in second, Ben Nevis is third, Royal Stewart fourth, Modesty for Bids and Strombolus, and Gillipus and Peter Scott and Mr. Batnack and Midday Welcome, then Prince Rock and Diopia, the only one really out of contention is Peace Pact as they head towards the 14th and Ken really, Kaz giving it a sound exhibition of jumping in the lead. Uh, well, sound enough I think, but not quite sound enough for me. He's stopping and looking at a lot of these fences and he's losing way in the ground, on, in the air in the process. And when the taps really turn down, down the far side, uh, he's going to have to look to his laurels really hard to to cope with Lockage, who's just headed in there, and also Ben Nevis on his inside. This is a downhill jump with Lockage leading Cass. Cass going into it fairly fast. It's rather a tricky fence, this, in fact. But uh, it's Lockage leading uh, Cass with Ben Nevis running in third. 
And let's just see how they go over this together. Castle's got his nose in front. He jumps it better, actually, than Lockage. They're all streaming over this. Incidentally, we haven't, I don't think, had one faller that I can see anyway uh, so far. These two have been dominating the scene. They've got three fairly close fences to cope with now, the third of which is an open ditch as they come down the back straight. They've got seven in all down the back straight. The middle one is the water. Cass striding out well. Now, as long as he jumps, he do you see that when he stopped, hesitated, lost way. Something went west at the back there. Doubtless Graham saw what it was. I didn't. Ross Stewart running on behind Ben Nevis there quite well into fourth place. As they approach the open ditch, back to you, Graham. The faller was Peter Scott. Peter Scott went at that fence and brought down midday welcome, but it's still Kaz in the lead from Lockage in second place and Ben Nevis third. Royal Stewart is fourth. Mr. Batnack is fifth. The field well and truly strung out now. Diopia still the back marker. Also towards the rear is the Peace Factor, in fact, is being pulled up going to the water jump and it's Kaz and Lockhart. Kaz in the lead from Lockhart in second, Ben Nevis is third and Royal Stewart is fourth and Mr. Batnack is fifth. These are well clear of modesty for bids who begins to make up ground. Then Prince Rock, Strombolus comes next ahead of Gallipus but as they take the next, the three close places and there we lost Lockhart. Lockhart a faller, this has left Kaz clear. Both horse and jockey with Lockhart quickly on their feet, safely enough. It's Kaz over that one from Ben Nevis, the challenger now in second place with Royal Stewart third, Mr. Batnack fourth, and Modesty forbids fifth, and then comes uh, Prince Rock, and behind Prince Rock is Diopia, but these are really out of contention. Peace Pact has been pulled up. They've just got three fences to jump, and it's Kaz who has made virtually all the running, still in the lead, as they come to the third from home in the Anthony Mildmay, Peter Kazlip Memorial, but Ben Nevis is the challenger, who comes into second place and closing on them. Modesty forbids is making ground in third. Then comes the weakening Royal Stewart. They've just got three to jump. And it's Kaz in the lead from, in second place, Ben Nevis, third, and making steady and relentless progress, modesty forbids. Then comes Royal Stewart, followed by Mr. Batnack, and also getting into the picture with Prince Rock, who's got a lot to do at this stage. Three from home, and here comes Kaz, a reminder in the lead from Ben Nevis, second, forbids his third. Then Royal Stewart jumped it slowly in fourth, and Batnack and Prince Rock, but they've just got two more fences to jump. And it's Kaz in the lead, with the challenger looming up on the right-hand side, his modesty forbids on the left, is Ben Nevis as they come to the second from home and Kaz jumps it in the lead from Modesty Forbids towards the right of the picture then Ben Nevis in third they've just got one more fence to jump and Kaz really out on his feet as Modesty Forbids comes up on the outside to challenge and take up the running as they come to the 24 and final fence at it Modesty Forbids jumps it in the lead Kaz a very tired second Ben Nevis is beaten in third and going up the hill it's going to be a win here for Modesty Forbids a patient waiting race ridden by Richard Rowe as he comes up to the line Modesty Forbids storms clear of our long-time leader Cass and at the post is Modesty Forbids who has won. Cass is in second place.